Trump issues urgent warning to America, please listen. President Donald Trump has made a name for himself as someone who is not afraid to voice uncomfortable truths. Recently, Mr. Trump took on Great Britain and its problem with crime. On his Facebook page, President Trump wrote just out report. United Kingdom crime rises 13% annually amid spread of radical Islamic terror. Not good, we must keep America safe. As with everything President Trump says, the mainstream media was quick to denounce him and, claim, and claims that his statement is fault, uh, factually wrong. The media has consistently claimed that President Trump and Republicans are wrong and Islamophobic, quote, for saying that certain European cities have no go zones where all non-Muslims are encouraged to avoid. Just this week, Sweden's centrist uh, moderate party proposed sending in the Swedish army into several high crime areas in Stockholm suburbs. It is absolutely necessary to do something because these gangs are like cancerous tumors in our country and it is urgent. My absolute belief is that we, the nation of Sweden, must declare war on criminal gangs, said moderate party member Mikael Sederbratt. Most criminals, gangs uh, in Sweden are of foreign origin with African and Arab Muslims. Not too long ago, the media exoriated Donald Trump for saying that Sweden is an example of what America shouldn't do in regards to law enforcement and immigration. The mainstream media here said that nothing is wrong in Sweden, a nation sometimes referred to as a moral superpower. The uncomfortable truth for liberals is that Sweden is the rape capital of the West and has seen a dramatic spike in grenade attacks on police officers and emergency services personnel. 2017 alone has seen a 550% rise in hand grenade attacks. Most of these attacks have occurred in the very same no-go zones that the media once said do not exist at all. That's a complete lie. As for Great Britain, the country has seen a sharp uptick in terror attacks lately from the suicide bombing at the Ariana Grande concert in Manchester to the various vehicular assaults in London. Despite what Labor, Labor Party officials like London Mayor Sadiq Khan, another moron there, say Britain's growing Muslim population is radicalizing and is not interested in assimilating. A bombshell report released last year by Channel 4 in the UK found that 23% of British mu Muslims want Sharia law in the UK. 18% said that they believe homosexuality should be illegal and 47% said that they felt it was unacceptable for a gay person to be allowed to teach. Europe has no go zones. Do you think they're coming to the USA? They're already here in Michigan. The left wing press in the UK tried to put a positive spin on these findings by saying that a majority of British Muslims feel like they belong in the UK, but it's hard to dispute the fact that 78% of British Muslims would like to assimilate into the UK only as long as Islamic schooling and Islamic teaching was supported or left alone by the state. Islamic teaching runs counter to Western tradition. So this offer is a poisoned apple. President Trump is right to warn America about the problem associated with increased Muslim immigration. Absolutely. And it is taking place, those no-go uh, no zones, they are already in Michigan. Yes, I've seen videos of that where they've told, uh, no, you can't go this way and they'll uh, throw things at the cars and everything like that. So it's already taking place. But since Trump got into office, that that's why um, th th it's a, like a halt has put, so to speak, some kind of a halt on this. But he can't fight this battle alone. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.